Have you ever felt like your desires are not aware that you are manifesting them? Like you have manifested for so long, and with so much devotion, you put your precious time and your whole mind into it, but still, still that desire you are manifesting seems like a distant happening in your life. Well, in today's video, we are going to discuss the three main things that might be blocking your manifestation to come towards you. Hello, and welcome back to my new video. If you have clicked on this video to seek for answers as to why your manifestation is not working properly, then you might have made a landing to the right video. Stick with me till the end of this video and get all the answers you have been seeking for. There are obviously many reasons as to why your manifestation is not functioning the way it should. But in today's video, we are going to discuss the three main things only because many people get these three things wrong in a way. But still, if you are interested in knowing other blockages, then I suggest you to watch other videos that I have posted in this channel explaining you about the different blockages, but watch those videos only after this video. If you are clear and you think you have followed these steps with all sincerity, then only proceed to the next video. So before starting, if you want to learn about manifesting and creating the life you want, I have a law of attraction guide that contains eight step-by-step -step lessons in both audio and PDF format. You can access it from the link in the description. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first thing that might be blocking your manifestation is your subconscious thoughts. Now you might be confused as to why subconscious thoughts. Isn't subconscious thought the main thing or the man of honor in our manifestations? Well, yes, subconscious thoughts are the main character in our manifestation story, but it can act as both protagonist and antagonist how. Well, think of it in this way, your positive subconscious thoughts, like you being healthy, or you being in a happy healthy relationship, or you being showered with abundance, are all positive subconscious thoughts. And these thoughts act as a protagonist in your story. Protagonist are those characters who are fighting against the right thing or are protesting for the most justified outcomes. And who are they fighting against? Yes, against the antagonist thoughts or those negative thoughts that keeps bugging you whenever you are trying to look into this life with much positiveness. Like you are manifesting being wealthy. You are thinking and following all those manifestation steps. And within a split second, another thought arrives from back of your mind saying, is it worth it? Am I ever going to make it that far? Or is this manifestation ever going to work? These are the thoughts that creates blockages and therefore they are called the antagonist thoughts. Those thoughts which feels like they are trying to pull us back into the reality, but are actually creating a gap between you and your manifested desire. Know how to differentiate between those antagonist and protagonist thoughts, and try to avoid those antagonist thoughts as much as possible, because thoughts have a great hand in shaping your reality. And here I am not only talking about those thoughts when you are manifesting, not only those thoughts that appears for like about 5 or 10 or 30 minutes, the whole thought in general, like every thought that passes through your head, has to be a protagonist thought, and yes, it does take a lot of time to always think positive. If you are not trying hard enough, try thinking positive, push those negative thoughts from the side of your head, and try thinking positive even when you are at your lowest, then your subconscious mind will start to attract your desire towards you with twice the speed. Today our world is focusing much on the positive thought. Why is that so? Because deep down we know that when we think positive, we don't get frustrated or we don't get jealous. That anger in us is just pressed down to a point where we don't have to rethink about our actions again and again. We are not destroyed by those negative thoughts and many souls that has made a landing in this world have already realized that. Now it's your turn to realize that and move on. You might have heard many people say this, what we think is what we attract. The same thing applies here too. When you think of something even for a split second, our subconscious mind attracts that. Even if we are thinking negative and your conscious mind is saying that you are not attracting that that you are thinking that thing, then subconsciously, that thing is being attracted in your life. 
even if you like or you don't like. So try reprogramming your subconscious mind into thinking positive and look at how the change automatically appears in your life. The second thing that might be blocking your manifestation is the vibrational frequency you are sending into this universe. So what is vibrational frequency? Vibrational frequency is the frequency or that wave you are radiating from your thoughts and your action. For example, you are on your journey into this positive world, you are starting to think positive, and you are starting to feel the positive. Why is that feeling of positive energy in you so influential in that moment of your life? Or why is that feeling appearing in your life? Have you ever thought of it? It is because that when you allow yourself to feel the positive energy, you are sending off those positive vibrations into this space around you. You are yourself radiating that wave into the space around you. You are creating that aura around you so that the other positive vibrations around could catch it. It is like a magnet. The law of attraction is based upon this theory that like attracts like. If you send off those like vibrations or energies into this universe, the other like vibration present in this universe is getting attracted towards your vibration. Similarly, you are frustrated or you are in that rage of anger and jealousy. And that sends off the negative vibration into the universe and the universe contains both the vibrations. So the positive vibration you were attracting is trying to go away and the negative vibration is being attracted. You yourself have created that aura which attracts the negative energy. And another thing is that when you are frustrated or jealous the vibration you send off to the universe is twice the rate of the vibration you send off when you are happy and in a good mood. So set yourself and step back a little if you feel like you are not in a good mood. Avoid those environments that brings out the bad side of you as much as possible because the vibrations does not take your permission before emitting itself. You have to be careful of what vibration you let out. Now the third thing that might be blocking your manifestation is the attachment you feel towards your desired outcome. If you have seen my videos before or have watched other YouTubers' videos, then they might have mentioned that you should be detached from your outcome. So what does this detachment from the outcome mean? The detachment from the outcome is the action that many people overlook and misunderstand. The attachment you feel towards the outcome, like all the time you are thinking about the outcome, in your head you are telling yourself again and again that once the outcome is there then you are the leader of your goals or you are the ultimate being, because for now you are feeling like you are going to get the outcome all at once. If you are one of them then you are wrong. The outcome does not come all at once, it comes in pieces and, instead of thinking about the end of your current manifestation, be there to embrace those pieces, feel gratitude towards those pieces. Don't always think about the outcome, don't get so attached to the outcome that you forget to do your daily activities. Once you have set your goal and did your daily chore of manifestation, then go about your day. Don't think about it again and again. You know when you think about something for so long, and for so often the real enjoyment you get at the very actual end, will not be the same as you feel when you are actually not thinking about it so much. Don't take that sweetness out of something so forcefully, you will not have any sweetness left when you will need it. Now if you want to know more about the act of detachment from the outcome, or how to do it, and what are the consequences of so much attachment towards your desired outcome, then I have created a video that is in this channel. You can go watch that video now and apply it. So that's it. That's for today. We have come to the end of this video. And if you have come this far, I thank you for listening to me. If you liked this video, press that like button down below and share it to your friends and family. It would mean a lot to me if you even subscribe to my channel for contents like this. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.